by 1970s, development of military equipment turned impetuous. It became more powerful, heavier, and larger. Therefore, AN-12 could not fully resolve transportation tasks. This aircraft could now carry only 20% of the military equipment assortment. It was time for even more larger aircraft. That's how the AN-22 Antaeus heavy military transport aircraft appeared. The first flight of this giant took place in February 1965. Pilot Yuri Kurlin took this aircraft into the air. AN-22 is the first in the world wide body and the largest for its time transport aircraft. Thanks to its multiple landing gear with pneumatic pressure control, this aircraft can land on sand and snow-covered airdromes. The maximum takeoff weight of this giant is 225 tons, while the maximum payload is 80 tons. The Soviet Union proudly demonstrated Antaeus at the Le Bourget Aviation Salon, where undoubtedly it was a superstar. Paris, International Aviation and Space Salon at Le Bourget. An American B-58 bomber crushed at landing before the eyes of thousands of spectators. This sensational news was forced from the front lines by the appearance at Le Bourget of the world largest aircraft designed by Oleg Antonov. 41 world records were set on this aircraft. Anteus became the first aircraft to lift a 100-ton cargo. There it is the combat power of the military transport aviation. Practically any military equipment which is currently used in the Soviet Army can be loaded into these aircraft. These powerful machines make the basis of the military transport aviation. They can carry not only paratroopers at enormous distance, but can supply them with heavy armament. AN-22 can take on board up to 290 soldiers or 150 paratroopers, tanks, assault combat vehicles, missile units and practically any type of frontline aircraft and helicopters. The takeoff is soon. Loading is on the way. Every detail is important and there could be no miscalculations. A minor mistake on the ground can be hard to correct in the sky. Increased capabilities of the military transport aviation make paratroopers many times more powerful. With the Antaeus appearance, the problem of various types of the armed forces equipment, air transportation, including strategic missile forces, was practically resolved. Progress of the military transport aviation could be seen overseas as well. C-141 Starlifter entered the United States Military Transport Aviation Service in mid-60s. Its maximum weight lifting capacity was almost 40 tons. It was not enough at that time, which made Americans to think of a more powerful transport aircraft. C-5 Galaxy became the one. In the 60s, capabilities of the Soviet transport aviation were several times tested in exact operations. Intensive oil field explorations started in those years. All that was required, tubes and special equipment, was being delivered by transport aircraft. They were also carrying out gold and diamonds from Yakutia.
in 1966, an earthquake occurred in Tashkent. The entire nation rushed to help the city on the wings of the transport aviation. Aircraft were delivering armament to many developing countries of Asia and Africa in return for loyalty of their leadership to the Soviet Union. In 1970, a destructive earthquake occurred in Peru. The Soviet Union sent transport aircraft full of hospital equipment and medicine. The route was 17,000 kilometers only one way. The difficulty was that the Soviet military transport aviation had practically no experience of international flights. Besides, the just commissioned AN-22 had no adequate navigating equipment. And then the Soviet military aircraft had to fly over the territories of their potential enemies, Canada and USA. Therefore, for the sake of conspiracy, AN-22 were painted into the colors of air flot while the crews were dressed in civil pilot uniform. Transport aircraft made a total of 17 flights to Peru.